it's a whole new area, folks. And you know what that means. It means I get to look at it. Huh. Wow. I get to look at an anchovy machine. Okay. You know what that means, fellas. Oh, chewing gum dispenser. Huh? That's nice. Chewing gum and fast. Huh? Hmm. I want chewing gum. Ah. Uh, huh. Voice control seems to be broken. Perhaps it's something to do with the button right there. Oh. Nice. I got some chewing gum. This doesn't say anything about flavors. There's a dancing cockroach depicted instead with a hat and a huh. cane. <laughs> That's stupid. She gonna eat it anyways? Nice. I'll keep the rest for later. Much later. Well, good. I have some chewed gum. Nice, nice, nice. This a shelf, yeah. It isn't even level with the wall. Huh. Hey, there's something behind it. Oh. What's, What's behind it then? Plug. Oh man. Well, hey, let's. Really? You crazy? It can't be that easy. Couldn't. Oh, of course. Uh, ho 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 ho. What? A cotton candy machine? No way. Uh, let's see. One, two, one, one. Uh, uh. There's got to be a reason these things are numbered in such a way. No? Or maybe it's like one, two, two, one, one, one. Why the hell not, you know? The switches change the lights. There are three on this side and one on the other. Hmm. Hmm. Three on this side and one on the other. Hum. Well, now I'm intrigued as to what he was actually referring to. Three on this side. Huh. Anyways. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, well. Aha. One on, two oh, one. those. These ones, okay. One off, two on. What do you mean one off, two on? Three and three. A six, isn't it? Yeah. I have to think binary. I have to think binary. Oh, jeez. Uh, starting from the top or from the bottom? I can think in binary. Now it's set to calzone. Interesting. One serving of cotton candy, please. I suppose the machine has no ears. Yeah, I doubt it. Otherwise, it'd be able to see who it's dealing with. <laughs> huh. I think some kind of stick has to go in there. Well, where'd that switch go, huh? Goal. Uh huh. It's set to calzone. Sheesh. Well, hey, let's go back to, um... They're all prime numbers. They're all prime numbers. Yeah, of course they're all prime numbers. It's numbered one through three. We'll get there eventually. I've had that before. Yeah. I've had that before. I have to think binary. All right. In that case, uh, jeez. I'm gonna start from the bottom then. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 16. I'm gonna start from the top then. That would be, uh, 1 plus 2 plus 4, 7. Alright. Is it addition? Is this supposed to be binary addition? Impossible that these levers don't have any significance. It's simply impossible. <laughs> uh, they don't have any significance, do they? Now it's set to phosphor. What the? Huh? One serving of cotton candy, I suppose. And no. It's impossible that these levers have no significance. Well, that just makes me think they're not significant. I'm gonna leave them like that because it looks nice. But the fact that. Uh, the entrance to the candy shop. 
After Dad left me, I lived there for a week. It wasn't wow. An hour. <laughs> Time passes so slowly when you're high on sugar. How about that? I uh, imagine your dad leaving you. That's quite unfortunate. Oh, a hatch! Wow. What's this supposed to be? Anyways. Yeah. The mosaic depicts a group of trash crabs in a huh. mating ritual with cocktails. That's not even what it looks like. It doesn't. It's hard to make out any details without any light. I see. Maybe uh, if we open this hatch, there'll be a nice way of turn. Huh? Nietzsche? Oh, crap. There's a mount for the torch in the niche. There are mirrors around it to focus the light. That can only mean one thing. Or nothing. One or zero. Uh, that is in fact binary system. How nice. Well, hey, let's see what's over here then. Is that supposed to be something I should be able to grab? A hatch! Another mosaic! Okay, well, oh, this one's dirty. Sheesh. Dirty mosaic table. Hey, there's still a hatch. A tool that was specifically designed to remove dirt. At least, I think Tony once mentioned something like that. Interesting. I wouldn't have any idea what that would possibly be, though. Back here. Yeah. Well, hey, let's go to the elevator, then. This is a pretty large area. Oil tank. Huh. Let's open this. Eh? Hey, a mop! And soap! And a bucket! That's like three of the four things I would need to remove dirt. At least according to Tony, I can only imagine. R U F E. That wasn't it. Maybe this? R U. Nah, I've tried that. But what else could it be? Uh, who knows? Damn. Does anything work here at all? I can't believe I can't get to the platform. I'm supposed to be at the platform. That's like the one place I have to be. Jeez. Anyways. What's this gonna... Uh, great. I don't want to look at the hint. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. To the lobby. And then to the tower. God, I'm blacked out here. Eesh. This is very important. All of this trunk. Tr what? Uh, what? Barrel with water. Nice. I can put. I can get a bucket full of water. I can put some of that water in this bucket, and then. Yeah. See. Perfect. Yeah. Is this acid or water? Just water. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Yeah. Okay, pal. Sheesh. Thanks, Rufus. You're being very helpful. Okay, fine. Let's go around here, then. You can go through there, can't you? Come on, Rufy. Rufy. Okay, pal. Quimpy and Sosanarchy. I really need to stop asking Rufus to do anything. Take the Tony approach. Don't ask him to do anything. <laughs> Alright, here's what we do, right? Put the soap in the bucket. Yeah, very nice, right? The mop in the bucket. And then we mop. This dirty mosaic tile. God. We've come so far in terms of character development. I'm going to clean something. Quick, cut to a cut to a song about how Rufus cleaned something. Crap, the mop broke. Now I have a stick to stick into the... What an unfortunate occurrence. Yeah. And a wet mop head. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, I suppose. And that almost looks like there's a hole. A piece of glass is missing. Huh. Interesting. Well. It'd be nice if I could remove the light from this lamp. I wonder if I can just, like, smack it. Uh huh. The pieces are very slowly. Okay, pal. Thanks. You're very helpful. Anyways, let's go to the candy shop. Hey, I mean, 
again, now I have a, I, uh, a uh, thing to stick into the cotton candy machine. This says the circumference of the to be cotton candy stick may not exceed 2.0 millimeters. Huh. To be cotton candy stick? <laughs> Who hired that guy? So what, I have to whittle it down or something? Is that what you're telling me? Eesh. Hey, Goal, you got any ideas? I bet your fiance isn't half the daredevil I am. Huh. Oh yeah. Anyways, uh, let's fish of the day. give me anchovy. Ugh, I should have said which day. Oh, on a stick too. How nice. I'm gonna eat. Skewered anchovies. They had those when I was a kid too. Wow, exactly those. Wow, exactly. Foodie knows anchovies get better the longer they're stored. This, these are facts, uh, I guess. Kind of like um, sardines. Oh, I wanted to have with the stick anyway. These are also facts. I need to place this two B cotton candied stick into the cotton candy machine and have it be a cotton candied stick instead of a two B cotton candied stick. Oh boy! What benefit was that? I have phosphor cotton candy. Good question. What's it set to now? Set to neutral. Neutral, calzone, and phosphor. All right. I think I see what's going on here. And by I see what's going on here, I have no freaking clue what's going on here. Anyways, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go after all. Hum. Well, hey, let's put the, uh, let's put the cotton candy in the water. Why not? I like how this game gives me the ability to do things that will absolutely destroy. Wow, the cotton candy simply imploded. I knew it was going to happen like that. Hey, I got the stick back. There's yeah, that. That would really be super cool. But as long as nobody's watching, it would be a total waste of effort. I guess. You know, you're a real, real helper, pal. Good friend of Rufus. Great. Great. The only light. Yeah. Can't we bust it open, Rufus? Come on, help me out here, man. Come on, be. Stubborn thing. <laughs> Poke it with a stick. That always works. Well, this seems like the kind of thing that we're going to work out on the next episode of... Or maybe something will blow into me and I'll retrieve it. Oh, hey, the mosaic, the mosaic stone. I still feel the need to be back here. Just in case the wind blows again. I don't know how often that happens, though. Okay. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag blowing through the wind? Huh. Well, I feel the need to put it in this hole, so that is what I shall well, do. You believe that the stone won't stick. What now? Ah, uh, boy, have I got an idea for you. You've got some slick chewing gum, right? Nice, nice, nice. I am a freaking. I need more light. Genius. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Uh, in which case, is there anything back here I can affix a stick to to catch that bag? Not sure what I would need the bag for. Just contemplating life right now. Okay, never mind. It just flies past me anyways. That's pretty cool. God, that's extremely useful. Yeah. Um. Time is on my side. Today, I don't know, it seems I to be moving pretty quickly right now. The clock stopped. Huh. That's interesting. Huh. But, but that will not stop me. The uh, ha. Huh. Well, the input panel for the elevator code. We used to have one of those at our front door until I found out the password. I see. And then what, Rufus? What did you do? 
Well, you know, I guess we'll have to figure out what Rufus is capable of even more so on the next episode of Deponia. For now, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will collect all of the useful objects in an area before realizing that I have no idea what to do with them. And then learn binary. Yes. Anything we're chewing gum? Uh... Must be, empty. must be empty. Yeah, I guess I don't need more chewing gum then. In that case, I'm not gonna bother repeating myself. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.